Hi friends, today I am going to tell you about child psychology, a very important aspect in pedodontics. Child psychology deals with the state of the mind of a child and how it functions. Now there are four theories of child development. First is psychoanalytic child development theory, second is cognitive child development theory, third behavioral child development theory and fourth social child development theory. We are going to discuss some in brief today. Before that I would like to tell you iceberg concept for psychic pride of fruit. Iceberg concept states that there are three levels of a child brain that is unconscious level which includes violent motives, fears, unacceptable sexual desires, irrational wishes, selfish needs and shameful experiences. Then comes the pre-conscious level in which the memories are present and the stored knowledge is there. Then comes the conscious level that includes our thoughts and perceptions. First theory that we are going to discuss today is Fruit's theory of psychosexual development. It was given by Sigmund Freud in 1905. It has five steps in this theory. Its stages present are the oral stage, the anal stage, the phallic stage, the latent period and the genital stage. First comes the oral stage. This is in 0 to 1 year of the children are included in this oral stage. During the oral stage, the infant's primary source of interaction occurs through the mouth. So the rooting and sucking reflex is especially important. The mouth is vital for eating and the infant derives pleasure from oral stimulation through gratifying activities such as tasting and sucking. Because the infant is entirely dependent upon caretakers, who are responsible for feeding the child, the infant also develops a sense of trust and comfort through this oral stimulation. In the oral stage, there is a concept of trust and mistrust. The child is being feeded by the mother and the child develops trust to her. Then comes the anal stage. This is seen in two to three years of the age of a child. During the anal stage, fruit believed that the primary focus of the libido was on controlling bladder and bowel movements. The major conflict at this stage is toilet training. The child has to learn to control his or her bodily needs. Developing this con control leads to a sense of accomplishment and independence. Success at this stage is dependent upon the way in which parents approach toilet training. In this, the child feels pleasure to control his bowel movements and the controlling of the bladder movements. And the child, if does it properly, if is actually to perform to such a level in a good way that he is actually doing good by performing his anal and bladder movements, then he is being or she is being rewarded by the parents. Then comes the phallic stage. Phallic stage is seen in 4 to 5 years of the young child. During the phallic stage, the primary focus of the libido is on the genitals. Children also discover the differences between males and females. Fruit also believed that boys begin to view their fathers as rival for mother's affections. This is also known as Oedipus complex and the reverse when the girl feels a uh, uh, rival as a mother, then it is known as Electra complex. The Oedipus complex describes these feelings of wanting to possess the mother and the desire to replace the father. However, the child also fears that he will be punished by the father for these feelings of fear, fruit, term, castration. After this comes the latent period. In this, no activity is seen and it is the period between phallic stage and the genital stage. The last stage is genital stage. It is seen in 13 to 18 years of a child 
during the final stage of psychosexual development the individual develops a strong sexual interest in the opposite sex where in earlier stages the focus was solely on individual needs and interest in the welfare of others grows during this stage if the other stages have been completed successfully the individual should now be well balanced warm and caring the goal of this stage is to establish a balance between the various life areas the drawbacks of the fruits theory were the theory is focused almost entirely on male development with little mention of female psychosexual development his theories are difficult to test scientifically concepts such as the libido are impossible to measure and therefore cannot be tested the research that has been conducted tends to discredit fruits theory now comes the psychosocial theory of eric erikson eric erikson's theory of psychosocial development is one of the best known theories of personality in psychology much like sigmund freud erikson believed that personality develops in a series of stages stage 1 is trust versus mistrust in words like in events like feeding that is seen in 0 to 1 year of age the first stage of erikson theory of psychosocial development occurs between the birth and 1 year of age and is the most fundamental stage in life because an infant is utterly dependent the development of trust is based on the dependability and quality of child's caregivers if a child successfully develops trust he or she will feel safe and secure in the world caregivers who are inconsistent emotionally unavailable or rejecting contribute to feelings of mistrust in the children they care for failure to develop trust will result in fear and a belief that the world is inconsistent and unpredictable stage 2 is autonomy versus shame it is usually seen in a toddler child other important events include gaining more control over food choices toy preferences and clothing selection children who successfully complete this stage feel secure and confident while those who do not are left with a sense of inadequacy and self doubt stage 3 is initiative versus guilt this is seen in preschool children who in where a healthy child learns to imagine to broaden his skills through active play to cooperate with others to lead as well as to follow now the stage 4 includes industry versus inferiority this is seen in great scholars in 6 to 12 years of age this stage covers the early school years from approximately age 5 to 11 through social interactions children begin to develop a sense of pride in their accomplishments and abilities children who are encouraged and commended by their teachers and parents develop a feeling of competence and belief in their skills those who receive little or no encouragement from parents teachers or peers will doubt their ability to be successful stage 5 it includes identity versus role confusion it is seen in teenagers the child is now an adolescent and learns how to answer satisfactorily and happily the question of who am i and what he shall become then comes stage 6 that is intimacy versus isolation it is seen in young adulthood this stage covers the period of early adulthood when people are exploring personal relationships Erikson believed it was vital that people develop close committed relationships with other people those who are successful at this step will develop relationships that are committed and secure stage 6 is intimacy versus isolation in this this is seen in young young adults and the experience of true intimacy the sort of intimacy that makes possible good marriage or a genuine and enduring friendship is seen in this stage stage 7 is generativity versus stagnation this is seen in adulthood 
it is seen in middle age during adulthood we continue to build our lives focusing on our career and family those who are successful during this phase will feel that they are contributing to the world by being active in their home and community those who fail to attain this skill will feel unproductive and uninvolved in the world stage 8 is integrity versus despair it is seen in mature adult this phase occurs during old age and is focused on reflecting back on life those who are unsuccessful during this phase will feel that their life has been wasted and will experience many regrets the individual will be left with feelings of bitterness and despair those who feel proud to their accomplishments will feel a sense of integrity successfully completing this phase means looking back with few regrets and a general feeling of satisfaction these individuals will attain wisdom even when confronting death a major criticism of erickson theory is that it is based primarily on work done with boys and men Piaget stage theory describes the cognitive development of children. Cognitive development involves changes in cognitive process and abilities. In Piaget's view, early cognitive development involves processes based upon actions and later progresses into changes in mental operation. Piaget stages include the sensory motor stage that is 0 to 2 year, pre-operational stage 2 to 6 year, concrete operational stage 6 to 12 years and the formal operation stage that is 11 to 15. the sensory motor stage is a stage of practical intelligence every child is born with certain strategies for interacting with the environment the child does not yet have the capacity to represent objects or people to himself that is the child is out of sight as well as out of mind as the maturation progresses the simple reflexes begin to be coordinated example looking along with arm movements resulting in hand watching then comes the pre operational stage that is seen to to took 2 to 6 years of the age of a child it includes primitive strategies changes as a child assimilates new experiences and accommodates child uses symbols in language and plays child learns to play he learns to classify things he solves his own problem and the concept of egocentrism is seen that we are going to discuss later the child has an emanism that is the child correlates things with other objects to which they are more used to or accustomed then comes the concrete operational stage the thinking process becomes logical in this uh, stage child becomes a bit mature and is able to think of his problems and the solution to that problems he develops the ability to use complex mental operations such as addition and subtraction then concrete operations develop based on the level of understanding achieved so far egocentrism means the child has achieved the level of understanding and gets involved in the treatment for example the child holds suction tip by himself in a dental treatment then comes the formal operation stage the formal operation stage is gives the development of reasoning capacity the child is now a teenager and is able to think still more abstractly he can consider a hypothetical situation a child can imagine possibilities inherent in a problem the child uses inductive or deductive logic to make decisions and solve problems he thinks of ideas and has developed a vast imagination the drawbacks or the demerits of piaget's theory were that piaget underestimates children abilities then he overestimates age differences in thinking the vagueness about the process of change is taken into consideration and piaget also underestimates the role of the social environment his theory was given in 1952 thank you